Welcome back. November is Native American Heritage Month, falling with some within the same month as the holiday that many Native Americans describe as a very painful one. Morning Insider Marissa Parra shows us what Thanksgiving means to Chicago's Native American community. I learned this a long time ago. Her handiwork is precise, just like her grandma taught her. She said, you learn how to do this and you'll never go hungry. This is how Norma Robertson and her partner spend their time. Crafting and creating is their way of honoring their native culture. His drawings are, are representative of, of us. Ahead of Thanksgiving, Robert Wapahi uses his pain as fuel for his art. All this holiday season that you call your season of happiness, that isn't how it has been for us. The winter season has always been a season of sadness. Thanksgiving is often thought of as a time of food and family, but for many Native Americans, Thanksgiving is a reminder of the loss of their land and their people in the centuries that followed the Mayflower's arrival in New England. What do you do on Thanksgiving? Ignore it. Native Americans make up less than 0.3% of the entire city, which actually makes Chicago the third largest urban Native American population in the entire country. Winnebago's, we have Red Lake. Each one of these flags represents someone we serve or remember. The American Indian Center has been fighting for recognition for Native American Chicagoans for years. Recognizing that the lands that we are all on are Native lands. The center's director, Melody Serna, says her own journey surrounding Thanksgiving and next steps for Native American Chicagoans has evolved from one of anger to one of nuanced celebration of life. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving per se. Um, we celebrate giving thanks. The survival is what the beautiful story is. The fact that we're still here. From Albany Park, Marissa Parra, CBS2 News. For more stories like this one, you can download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insider.